Hi, this is Teresa Momber. Here's a look at the card I'm going to show you how to create in today's video. And in the video, I'm going to show you how to make a reusable acetate circle template that you'll be able to use in many projects in the future. Let's get started. Acetate can be a little difficult to cut using die templates, so I find it easier to place a piece of cardstock on the cutting plate and then a piece of acetate, then add a variety of circle die templates. Complete your sandwich by adding the base plate and then run it through your die cutting machine. Be sure to keep all the circle pieces. You'll be able to use those as masks. To start the card project, Trim white cardstock to three and a half by four and three quarter inches. Now use your acetate circle template and position one of the circles over the upper right side of your cardstock and begin sponging in the circle area just using the residual ink on a black sponge dauber or be sure to tap off all the excess ink. Then lift off the template. Now use the corresponding acetate circle and hold it in place with repositionable tape. Now use Gina K powder blue ink to sponge in the background. Just a note, I'm speeding up the filming here because I took quite some time to build the ink up slowly. Build your ink up slowly, but be sure to leave an area under the moon that's uncolored or very lightly colored. That'll be the area that is the reflection of the moon in the water. As you work along, start building the color up quite a bit darker at the top and bottom of the cardstock. Use sticky notes to add a mask at the horizon line. Then sponge more powder blue ink along that mask. Switch to Gina K Blue Denim Ink and sponge along the top of the cardstock to deepen the color of the sky. Remove the mask and repeat the process for the bottom of the cardstock as well. To make the color even deeper, 
Switch to Gina K Black Onyx Ink and repeat the process, but this time be very careful to tap off excess ink and build the color up very carefully. Add a sticky note along the horizon line and then tear a second sticky note and place it above the horizon line. And this will be an area to mask off to form a small island. With your mask in place, sponge lightly using Gina K Black Onyx ink. Now we'll create another island. This time both sides will be torn paper and this will be lower in the water line. Once again, sponge in the open area using Gina K Black Onyx ink, but this time make it a little darker. Remove your masks and then stamp the palm tree image from the Tropical Nature 2 stamp set from Gina K Designs using Gina K Black Onyx ink. Add a bit of color to the trees by using Copic Marker E49 along the tree trunks. Switch to Copic Marker YG99 and add just a touch of color along the palm fronds. Next, to create a shadow in front of the island at the horizon line, I started with Copic Marker C5 and just filled in an area below the island. I felt like that shadow could be a little darker, so I switched to Copic Marker C5 and filled it in again. Then I used the same marker to fill in a shadow below the second island. And still using the C5 marker, I added in some random lines to look like ripples in the water. Next, switch to Copic marker B21 and add more random lines in the water.
Use Copic Marker N5 to create some shadows for the trees. Stamp the sentiment from the Scripty Sayings stamp set from Gina K Designs using Gina K Black Onyx ink. Adhere your main image layer to a piece of in the navy cardstock that's trimmed slightly larger, and then adhere both layers to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch blue denim card base. That completes today's video. Thanks for watching.